feel like I've probably said this a lot on this channel, but I really think this is one of the more interesting items that I own. This is the Heritage Periodic Table of Elements. I think it's such a cool idea, and I think they did a really good job actually pulling it off. I wanted to talk a little bit about it. It's exactly what it looks like. It is almost every element, or at least as many elements as they can kind of realistically get. You know, the, the radioactive ones they decided to leave out, which, um, you know, I'm grateful for that. That makes sense. But other, other than the radioactive ones, for the most part, they're, they're, they're pretty much all here. They've managed to kind of chip off tiny, tiny versions of each of the different materials, each of the different elements, set them in a nice piece of resin, and now you can just have this thing. You can hold every, almost every, every safe element in your hand and just sort of have it on your desk or put it up for display somewhere. But it's pretty crazy. By the way, this is just so you can see it a little bit easier on camera. It's very easy to see in real life, but it's just kind of hard to show up. There's not much contrast, so this is helping. There are 83 separate elements set in acrylic in here. It's a pretty good size. It's four and a half inches by six inches by, I think, one inch on that axis. According to the website, the elements are broken, cut, machined, melted, or smashed. Oh, with a hammer. They actually specify with a hammer. So the size of each element will vary slightly, so which one is, is kind of, uh, you know, going to be unique. And it must be actually kind of an interesting logistical challenge to create these. I'd be curious to see what their production looks like, because I, I bet they're a bit of a nightmare to create, so I appreciate all the effort that, that went into doing this. Must be very fiddly. They're made in the USA, which is nice. And you can pick one up for 180 bucks, which, I mean, considering how much effort it must take to, to actually manufacture this, I think that's, that's, that's a pretty good deal. It's just a great item to have around, I think. It's just one of those cool objects that will always start conversations or, you know, will, will catch people's eye. Definitely a great gift as well for anyone in your life who's perhaps a bit more scientifically minded and may want to hold uh, almost the full range of elements in their hand or just have the four inch of elements just sat on their desk. Alchemists might also be interested in this, so if you have any alchemists in your life, this would also be an interesting gift. They have a few other interesting things on their website too. There was one that really caught my eye. Bromine, bromine. That's just how you actually pronounce it. Bromine. Bromine, bromine. But look, it's actually, it's set inside resin, but it's still liquid, which I think is cool. Bromine is a halogen similar to chlorine or iodine. Bromine's atomic number is 35, and its symbol is BR. Although bromine in the sample is liquid, it's normally a fuming burnt red liquid when exposed to air. The name bromine comes from Greek word meaning stench, referring to it as bromine's unpleasant smell. So that would be a pretty cool one. I'd probably buy that. That's, 100, that's 105 bucks. And I think I've mentioned this. It's from Engineered Labs. They have a lot of interesting stuff. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Each week we post two new videos now. This video was brought to you by DeadeyeClub.com, makers of the Wishbone EDC Slingshot. Head over there now and consider picking up their $100 mischief kit, which includes everything you'd need to start shooting a slingshot. The Wishbone itself, three replacement band sets, and some ammo. It's the most fun you can have for 100 bucks, and you'll be supporting the channel.